to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system, the human body is a healing system. It is designed divinely to heal, renew, regenerate itself moment to moment, hour by hour, day by day. And while some folks may call that healing and renewing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number if you want to get off your meds or help the loved one get off their medications and get on a good nutritional supplement program like the one designed by Doc Wallach and the folks at Young Javity, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team, call the phone team at 866-735-2470 for a one-time $10 fee. You can get your Longevity products at the wholesale price, earn thank you checks, start yourself a business, and enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. Help spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. You can also head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, my blog, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, my new blog with George Nori. You can sign up right off the websites, and of course, you can purchase any of the products you hear advertised on the program right off the website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and now criticalhealthnews.com. You're always welcome to call the phone team at 866-735-2470 and order products directly. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side. If you have questions about any products or health, health conditions or if you want to simply contribute to the conversation or if you have a success story, we do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in our second segment. We're talking skin health. We're going to talk about skin health now for, uh, we'll be talking about it for a few days and we'll probably talk about it for the next couple of weeks. We're going to cover eczema, we'll cover dry skin, photo damage. We'll make this a little bit of a skin health show, at least for the next couple of weeks in honor of my new truth treatment products, which should be out here. Uh, well, they're already out, but the website should be up here any day. You'll be hearing about it on this program and probably via commercials as well. We'll be talking about skin now for the next, uh, oh, hopefully for a couple of weeks. Got lots to talk about. I've been wanting to talk about skin now for a long time. Some of you know I've been in the skincare business, formulating products, researching products as a compounding pharmacist, working directly with patients, as an educator. I owned a school, taught estheticians. I've been doing skincare now since 1983, and I know a lot about skin from, very, from a lot of different perspectives as a pharmacist, as a formulator, as a nutritionist, as a nutritionist, and as a researcher as well. So we're talking acne. Last we spoke, we talked about vitamin A, super duper duper unbelievably important vitamin. It's the normalizing vitamin. It's not even a vitamin technically. As we've said in the past, vitamins are assistants, they're helpers, they're important, but they're in a supportive kind of way. Vitamin A ain't no supporter. Vitamin A is the, the stuff. It's a hormone. It turns things on and off. It doesn't just help chemistry happen. It makes chemistry happen. It's the building vitamin. It's the growing vitamin. It keeps cells growing correctly. It's a key player in what's called differentiation, which is how cells take on different shapes in their growth process. Many diseases are caused by breakdowns at this level, and that includes acne. Acne is caused by, partially anyway, or it's initiated, an acne pimple is initiated by cells growing too fast. Cell growth is dependent on vitamin A. Under conditions of vitamin A deficiency, cells will grow out of control. That's acne. There's lots of reasons why vitamin A deficiencies can occur. Of course, uh, of course, lack of intake is probably the most important, but lack of absorption is also important. If you have Crohn's disease, celiac disease, fructose intolerance, chances are you're not going to be absorbing your vitamin A. Now, we're talking about vitamin A in skin, but pff, vitamin A is involved in a lot of things. 
So if you're not absorbing your vitamin A, even if you're taking your vitamin A as a supplement, if you're not absorbing it, if you have intestinal problems, bile problems, gallbladder removed, Crohn's disease, uh, lack of stomach acid, pancreatic problems, all of these can conspire to deplete your body of this very, very important vitamin. And cer certainly not intaking enough is also a problem because it's not really found in a lot of foods. It's found in animal foods mostly. You've got to eat a lot of eggs or fish liver to get vitamin A. This is why supplementing is so, so important. Acne in many ways is a vitamin A deficiency disease. And sometimes simply adding vitamin A to your diet via supplements or foods or perhaps absorbing your absorption of vitamin A by using the ultimate enzymes, by using bile salts, by using lecithin. These are all mechanisms for improving your absorption of vitamin A. And keep in mind, fructose malabsorption syndrome, which is extremely common, can also have a down-regulating or a, a suppressant effect on vitamin A absorption. So if you have any problems with fructose, keep in mind, chances are pretty good. You may be vitamin A deficient, especially if you're not supplementing. So if you have acne and you have fructose intolerance, I would say the odds are really, really good that you uh, uh, something as simple as vitamin A deficiency can be responsible or at least partially responsible. Skin diseases are just another type of bodily breakdown. They're not special. All disease is inflammation. All disease involves a defensive response. And following that defensive response, and by the way, defensive responses can also be to nutritional deficiencies. Under conditions of nutritional deficiencies, the body will go on to alert mode. And this can trigger a defensive response also. So stuff getting into the body or not getting into the body can both cause this kind of defensive response, ultimately leading to out of control growth. And this is a basic way that breakdowns in the body occur. We make these artificial distinctions on the various organs of the body. We say, oh, I got a gallbladder problem, or I got a bone issue, I got osteoporosis, or I have a skin problem. When we focus on the organs, the heart or the bone or the skin, we focus on these various organs, but the problem is not at the organ level. This is so, so, so important because your doctor's not going to tell you this. Why? Because he gets paid by treating organs. There's only one person who benefits by this ridiculous medical distinction, this help, this uh, useless or, or unhelpful medical distinction of treating different structures in the body. You know who benefits from that? The specialist. This is how we get specialists. Specialists are absolutely helpless to stop a degenerative process because they specialize. And the degenerative process is not... It cannot be, uh, it's not about the various special organs in the system. It's generic. It affects the whole body. They can lower your test score. And they will lower your test score with drugs, usually. And that's how they work. They lower test scores or they raise test scores. They work with test scores. But from a disease state and from a reversal state, from a healing state, from a getting better state, the organ doesn't matter. It's not about the organ. I'm going to say it again because that's so important. The disease state is not about the organ. Once it's at the organ level, the cow is out of the barn. The cat is out of the bag. Once it affects the organ, the disease and degenerative process have progressed. And you can't reverse it at the organ level. The organ doesn't matter. You know what else doesn't matter? Your test score doesn't matter. Unless your test score is ridiculously high or ridiculously low, and you're always going to know if you have an extreme test score by your symptoms and by how you feel, the test score by itself is irrelevant. The test score doesn't matter. Why is the doctor not telling you? Because that's all he's got. That's all he's got in his bag of tricks is the test score. There's even a commercial we've talked about in the past, Zarelto. You're going to love your numbers. I, actually, I forgot. It's not Zarelto, some other diabetes drug. You're going to love your numbers. We treat our numbers. We eat the menu. We work with the symbols. And nobody gets better. And that's why no matter how good your test score is, you could still drop dead of a heart attack. Scores and metrics are all based on average people. They're based on statistics. There's no average people, and statistics are a lie. They're there to quantify what is, in essence, not quantifiable. They're there to put a number on something so the doctor can treat a number. So the doctor doesn't have to use his intuition. He doesn't have to know anything about biochemistry. He doesn't have to know anything about physiology. This is why our healthcare system is so friggin' messed up. And it doesn't have to be that way. We can do this ourselves. If you've got acne or you have a skin disease, you don't need a dermatologist. It's the last thing you need. Unless you're miserably uncomfortable, maybe you need something numbed. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Organs don't matter, but I'll tell you what does matter when we come back from our...
Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for being here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time. If you miss a program, they're all archived at brightsideben.com. Four years plus of archived programs, brightsideben.com. You can also go to benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK who set that up with keywords. If you miss a program or you want to send one of your clients or friends or family members to a program that we, uh, where we covered a subject that's important to somebody, somebody or another, you can get over to brightsideben.com or brightsideben.com. If you want to order any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, recommended on the program, you can order right off the website, brightsideben.com, or my blog, pharmacistben.com, or my new blog, criticalhealthnews.com. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben phone team right off of the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Our number today, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here momentarily. If you have a success story you want to share, you want to contribute to the conversation, or if you have questions about health or nutrition, we can help you. 844-236-6010. Okay, so from a disease standpoint, if you go to the doctor, you're going to get, they're going to focus on the organ, the skin, the bone. Uh, the heart, the brain, whatever the organ particular structure is. But once you have a problem at the organ level, there's nothing you can do about it except mask it or hide it or disguise it or numb it or somehow poison it so you don't have to know you have it. This is why medicine is such a failure. It treats organs, which is in essence treating symptoms. The organ level is the symptom level. The causal level is beneath the organ level. You got four different levels. You got your organ level. The organ is itself composed of tissue, which is composed of cells. Then within those cells, you have all the different chemical reactions. So for the most part, your doctor is going to be treating your organ. The organ is made up of tissue, and the tissue is made up of cells, and this is where your power is. Now, recently, because we have this high-tech culture and high-tech medicine, medicine knows that they can now attack molecules. They can go inside the cell. So. In the old days, and even today, they'll, they'll treat your organ, they'll treat the skin, or nowadays they'll treat the molecular nature, the molecules. But at the cell level, which is what composes the tissue, they can't do anything. But that's where the disease is. But it doesn't matter. Because at the cell level, we have control. At the cell level, all we got to do is make sure the cell's got the nutrients it needs, i.e. the mighty 90 essential nutrients. We got to make sure it's not swimming in toxicity. That means keeping your toxins, especially food toxins, out of your system as best as you can. And again, sugar is a toxin. Moving your lymphatic system, moving your body around so you can improve detoxification. Make sure you're breathing correctly to improve detoxification and also making sure that cell is oxygenated. Again, involving respiration. Do you hear doctor anywhere there? No. Can a doctor help you breathe? Is a doctor going to help you make sure you're doing your deep breathing? You don't need a doctor for that. Do you need a doctor for your nutritional supplementation? No. What, what is this? How does the doctor stick his nose into our tent? How does the medical model insert itself into what's our health? Where does it come from? So I can't help you. The medical model can't help you at the organ level. It doesn't matter, though, because at the tissue level, and at the, which is made up of cells, this is our bailiwick. This is our deal. We can do it ourselves at this level. And you assess your health at this level by how you feel. If you feel tired, if you feel pain, if you feel nauseous, if you feel brain fog, these are the places where you can diagnose yourself. You don't need a doctor for any of this stuff. When it comes to the skin, you got, if you're breaking out, the chances are pretty darn good that you're dealing with the same thing that you're dealing with if you have heart disease or any other health issue. Starvation, suffocation, toxification. Of all the nutri nutritional supplements and nutrients that are important for starvation issues, at least when it comes to the skin, when it comes to all cells, vitamin A is, it could be argued, the most important. Certainly when it comes to acne, vitamin A is at least one of the two most important anti-acne anti-acne anti -acne, nutrients. Make sure you're using 10 to 20,000 IU a day. You can even use 30,000 IU a day. And take your vitamin A with all your other vitamins, especially vitamin D, which works in tandem with vitamin A. Vitamin D itself is pro-immunity, helps support the immune system, anti-inflammatory. So in addition to balancing vitamin A, vitamin D itself may have its own anti-acne benefits. And everybody knows who's breaking out that if they get out in the sun, their skin starts to heal. Hello, no toxicity from the sun unless you burn. No doctor necessary from the sun. Works just as good as any drug you get from the doctor with no side effects. 
That's vitamin D. And vitamin A and D are also found in the ultimate EFAs and fish liver. Fish, oil, uh, uh, fish liver is probably your best source of both vitamin A and D. Vitamin A and D are found in the cholesterol complex. I call it the cholesterol complex. Cholesterol complex is a complex of elements that are involved in growth. They're found in meat, they're found in dairy, and they're found in eggs. It's, I call it the cholesterol complex. Meat, dairy, and eggs and fish are your best sources of the cholesterol complex. Oh yeah, the doctor tells you not to eat the cholesterol complex. More boneheaded medical information. The cholesterol complex is important for the growth of cells. And it's made up of vitamin A. It's made up of vitamin D. It's made up of something called phospholipids, which include lecithin. It's made up of cholesterol. It's made up of sulfur. All of this is incredibly, incredibly important for anti-aging, anti-cancer, skin health, general health. And oh yeah, the doctor will tell you not to eat it. More brain dead information from the medical model. Vitamin A is also important topically. In fact, it's incredible topically. In fact, it's a, so incredible topically, it's actually a prescription because it's so effective if it's a little bit powerful. It's called Retin-A, although these days there's many forms of it. It used to be called Retin-A, technical name, retinoic acid. You're not gonna, it's going to be difficult to find effective vitamin A products if you don't want to deal with a prescription, but there's a couple options that you have. We will talk about that tomorrow, and we'll continue talking about skin health and acne. There's another very important nutrient, mineral nutrient, that's also important for, uh, for dealing with acne skin. Nobody has to have acne, and it's easy to reverse. Within 24 hours, it can begin to reverse. Within six to eight weeks, for most, most types of acne, and as you may recall, there's different types of acne, but for most types of acne, you can completely eliminate it theoretically within four to eight months because for most type of acne, you're dealing with a skin uh, surface cell issue, a skin cell issue, the epidermis, which turns over every four to eight weeks. All right, we'll continue talking about this tomorrow. On the bright side, I'm pharmacist Ben. Time to our phones. 844-236-6010 is our number. Diane, welcome to the bright side. What's up? Hi, Ben. Hey, what's cooking? Uh, first, I'd like to mention that we're getting very anxious uh, to uh, purchase or try your new product. Oh, I'm teasing you a little bit. Uh-huh. Should be off. should be out here. You know, the website's been a little tricky, and I've got that's that's the thing. The product's ready to go, but the website is a little bit tricky. Why don't you do this, Diane? Shoot me an email, uh, ben at ksco.com, and put your mailing address, and I'll put a couple things out to you personally. It's a couple a couple <laughs> prototype samples, pre pre sale samples. Great, I appreciate that. Okay, um, what's cooking? What I'm wanting to talk about mostly is a, a product, Osteo FX. Okay. Um, been using that, and I have issues with bruising, especially on my forearm. I think I remember this. This has been going on for a while, hasn't it, Diane? Uh huh. Did, yeah. did you and I talked about this maybe a couple of years ago? It seems like no. I think you're right. Okay. But I, I just wonder. I don't see any vitamin K2 in yeah. the Osteo FX. That's a tricky one. It should be in there, but that's a tricky vitamin. Uh, vitamin K is more. It, it, the fatty vitamins, D, E, A, and K, are all tricky. We've been talking about A here, but, but K is especially tricky. Uh, hang tight, Diane. got to take a break. But let's talk a little bit about vitamin K and the Beyond Osteo effects. And let me give you some help with the bruising as well, because that's, that's an important sign. Your numbers don't matter, but the bruising, that matters. That's an important sign. So don't go away, Diane. And if you're on hold, hang on. Our number is 844-236-6010. Got a couple lines open for you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. We're back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got a couple lines open for you. Talking to Diane in Nebraska. Diane, you there, ma'am? Yes, I am. Okay, so a couple of things about bruising. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to do with thinning blood. Vitamin K is a blood thickener. It's a blood clotting agent. You definitely need vitamin K for a lot of reasons. To answer your question, why it's not in a lot of the longevity products, it's usually not found as an add-in to products because vitamin K is the most potent or at least one of the most potent of all the vitamins and it works in conjunction with vitamins D, E, and A. All the fat-soluble vitamins work together, DEEK, D-E-A, and K. So you want to make sure if you're taking vitamin K, you're using all the fat-soluble vitamins. It's not advisable just to take vitamin K, and that's probably why you're not going to find it in a lot of multi-supplements, although you probably find it in a multivitamin, of course. Vitamin K is a clotting vitamin, as I say, but it's also very important for bones. If you have a problem with bruising, the chances are very good that you have a bone problem also. And the reason is, and this is what I was kind of leading to, at the beginning of the program is because the tissue 
that makes up your blood vessels is the same as the tissue that makes up your bones. It's called connective tissue. And even though the bones look very different, obviously, than blood vessels, from a tissue standpoint, which is where health and lack of health show up or come from, they're the same. So chances are very good that you have a problem with your bones if you have a problem with your blood vessels. I would be considering, Diane, that you have an issue more with blood vessels than you do with blood. Now, how do you know? How can you tell? Look for other symptoms. Do you have problems with your bones? Do you have problems with your digestive system? Because all of the stuff that you need for bones and for blood vessels and connective tissue is absorbed in the digestive system. Do you have a liver problem? And by the way, if you have a liver problem, you're not going to make a very important blood protein as effectively, and that can cause your blood to thin. So you can see there's all these factors that are involved. And if you try to brain damage it by isolating every specific factor, you're going to go nuts, or you're going to end up with a, a going to the doctor and getting diagnosed and tested and MRI and uh, all the other things that doctors do because they can't figure out what's going on in your body. So if it was me, this is what I would be doing. Number one, uh, in addition to having, uh, making sure you have your whole entire Mighty 90 essential nutrients, you want to make sure that your blood is circulating correctly. If your blood does not circulate correctly, and this follows inflammation and digestive problems and toxins getting into the blood, it can leak. This is one of the problems that people have under their eyes. When you see, when you see purple under the eyes or you see pooling under the eyes, that's blood vessels, that, uh, blood that's not circulating appropriately and leaking out of the vessel. So moving your body around, deep breathing techniques, and eliminating digestive health issues. It always comes down to the digestive system on one level or another. That's going to be uh, strategy number one, in addition to making sure, of course, you're taking your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. You want to make sure you're absorbing your protein and getting protein. There's a protein called albumin, as I say, that's found in eggs, it's found in whey. Your liver makes it. Making sure you're getting enough and absorbing your protein would be the second thing that you want to do. And and then the third thing you want to do is start to strengthen your connective tissue. Protein will help, but vitamin C may be the most important of all the connective tissue vitamins. That's the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and you might want to take some extra vitamin C anyway. The glucosamine glucogel caps are also very effective for helping build up connective tissue. The combination of the glucogel caps and the uh, and vitamin C is also important. You might want to consider bone soup, eating cartilage-containing products. This can all help strengthen the blood vessels as well. So Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, absolutely. I would be taking a little extra vitamin K, maybe 1,000 to 5,000 micrograms a day. Look for vitamin K2 because vitamin K is made by bacteria in the intestine from uh, from, the act, uh, they, uh, from the activity of fiber, the bacteria eat fiber, if you will, and then they produce what they need to produce. So making sure you're getting enough fiber, making sure you're getting your biolumin nightly essence, making sure you're eating fermented food and correcting any digestive problems is also going to be important. And then vitamin C. Uh, in addition to uh, uh, the glucogel caps, making sure you're getting enough protein and absorbing your protein, and then move your body around. Get yourself on a, on a uh, treadmill or a, uh, a, a, a mini trampoline, a rebounder, that's what I'm trying to say, and move your body around. So many things you could do, Diane. So, so, so many. None of them require a doctor. And guess what? There's nothing a doctor can do for you anyway. So even if you start doing a little bit of those things, you should, you should notice that you're not bruising as readily. And don't ever let anybody tell you bruising is normal, a normal part of aging. That's that's what the doctors say. It's a normal part of aging. No, it's not. It's a sign that your blood vessels are starting to break down and you're having a problem with your circulatory system. Hope that helps, Diane. I want to move on and get to, get to some more calls. Any other questions you have for me? Yes, and I wanted to mention, uh, yesterday you mentioned arginine uh, and when you use it to have protein. Take it with protein, yes. I probably said that. I don't remember that, but I'm, I'm sure I said that. Protein with your arginine. Arginine is an amino acid. When you eat your protein, you mobilize your amino acid absorbing and amino acid processing chemistry. So if you take your arginine and protein together, it'll be, it'll be easier for your body to use the arginine. So just mix the arginine like in a protein With your smoothie. whey, exactly, and with some apple cider vinegar maybe after you, right. after your smoothie. Okay, thanks, Diane. All right. Don't, don't put apple cider vinegar in your smoothie. That's not going to be very tasty. But after you're done with your smoothie, do some apple cider vinegar. Frank, what's going on? Frank in Wisconsin. Welcome to the Bright Side. Thank you, Ben. What's up? Um, oh, Frankie, Cheesehead. What's hey, up, my man? Good to hear, good to hear from you. What's going on? How you doing? I wanted to say thanks for everything and, um, you know, helping me years ago with my fatty liver disease, reversing that. And, good deal. Uh, my GERD. And you helped. Um, I, I actually helped my brother. He had a gallbladder taken out. And he just got tired of it, and he asked me what I could do, and I said, listen to you, and 
and uh, like a week later, not even he was like he feels brand new. So oh, I really that's appreciate awesome. that. Oh, thank you. You know, I, I don't want to take credit for this because it's just the information. The information's out there. I'm just telling you. I'm just I'm just talking about what is already out there. What I personally seen in my life, of course, as well. But it's not me personally. It's the information. It's available to everybody. But thank you. I appreciate the kind words, Frank. Anything I can help and, you with? Uh, um, your omega cream, you sent me a sample. That yes. stuff is great. Thank you. Omega 6. Glowing. Uh, it's awesome. Omega 6 healing cream. You know, I, I'm going to be selling it. I've been using it now for a while in my practice, but I'm going to be selling it as a healing cream for burns and for cuts and for scrapes. But you're right. It is actually a very powerful anti-aging product, and your skin will glow. Frank, set, shoot, me another, uh, shoot me an email with your address. I'll send you out another sample. Thanks, bud. Have a All great right. week. Take care, Frank. Good to talk to you, man. All right. Love success stories. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Let's go to Texas. John, what's up? How you doing, man? Welcome to the Bright Side. How you doing, Ben? Doing good. What's going on? Uh, I have foamy urine. Uh, can you help Say me again. With that? I, you cut out there for a second. You have what now? Foamy urine. Foamy urine. Protein. It sounds like foamy urine. Uh, anything else going on? Or you must have some other stuff going on. Protein foams, by the way, uh, and that's probably why you have your foamy urine. But uh, what else is going that's on? That's about it. Yeah, I gotta, uh, you got to look. Nobody's just going to have foamy urine unless you put foam in there or something. I, I constipation. Say, I'm sorry. You, I've had a hard time here. You said constipation? Yeah. Okay. You got a digestive problem more than likely, and uh, now you may have a kidney problem too. Protein is getting into the kit. Uh, protein is getting into the urine through the kidneys. So if you have a long-standing digestive problem, that can, that can ultimately lead to blood sugar issues, and that can start to damage the tiny blood vessels in the kidneys. So let me ask you a couple of questions here. How old are you, first of all? 39. 39. Height to weight, approximately. You don't have to tell me exactly. Height to weight. About 200, uh, six foot. Six foot, 200. And uh, did you start to gain weight as you got a little older? Did, were you lean and mean when you were younger and then gained weight as you were older? Were you always six foot, two, six foot and 200? Yeah, I, I gained some weight. Okay. You probably got some blood sugar problems, and that's what I'd be focusing on first. Blood sugar problems very often follow digestive health issues. And if you've been constipated for a length of time, the chances are good that you've been uh, eating the wrong food and now you've got some blood sugar problems and that's uh, causing some kidney damage and that's where the protein in the urine is coming from. It's a very important issue though and something you want to be paying attention to, especially if it goes on for a while. So hang tight and I'll give you some answers. If you're on hold, we'll get to you and come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236. Urine. And by the way, we have lines open 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. Excuse me. Protein in the urine is a can be a serious issue. Uh, protein is typically uh, is typically filtered out for the blood. Most proteins are too big to get or filtered through the kidneys. Most proteins are too big to get through the kidney filter. So it shouldn't be, there shouldn't be any protein in the urine. But once the kidney starts to break down, things can get into the urine. And that's an indicator that kidney disease is occurring. Kidney disease is an epidemic. And kidney disease, chronic kidney disease, usually results from some problem with blood sugar, although sometimes high blood pressure can be involved. Sometimes local inflammation can be involved. But you always want to regard kidney issues first and foremost as a blood sugar issue, and then secondly as a digestive issue. As you do want, as you want to involve, uh, you, this is all health issues. Kidney disease is not different from anything else. Digestive, blood sugar, and then if you want to throw something else in, throw in chronic, long-term psychological, mental, emotional, spiritual stress, or any stress. So you want to deal with protein in the urine as a, you want a foamy urine as a, if it were protein in the urine, protein in the urine as if it were a kidney problem, kidney problem as if it were a digestive condition, diabetes condition, and perhaps a stress, uh, a lack of oxygen or, or some kind of inflammation. These are really the only things that cause disease, digestion, blood sugar, oxygen. And then you get into inflammation, which makes the digestive system worse, the digestive problems worse, the blood sugar problems worse, and the oxygenation problems worse. This is everything. Everything, everything, everything. You got to focus first on foods. Eliminate problem foods. Just fasting alone for most inflammatory health issues. Just not eating for one or two days for most inflammatory issues, you can get positive response. You can get symptomatic relief. Now, obviously, you have to eat. You can't stop eating forever. So then when you reintroduce your foods, you reintroduce your foods very carefully. And you reintroduce your foods one at a time. You reintroduce your foods 
uh, piece by piece. Try not to eat foods that have, when you're doing this reintroduction, try not to eat complicated foods, foods that have a lot of working parts. Try just to eat, instead of a tuna fish sandwich, just have a, some tuna. Instead of a chicken salad sandwich, some chicken. Instead of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, just some peanuts. In other words, the, the more simple your food choices are, the easier it's going to be to assess your reactions, what you're reacting to. Use probiotics. Use anything you can do for digestive support. Eat less food. Caloric restriction. Even if you're not fasting, just caloric restriction. Make sure you're getting fiber. Make sure you're using your Vitamix to get veggie juices. All of these can help you correct digestive problems pretty darn quickly. And fermented foods like sauerkraut and miso and tempeh, etc. Get a book called The Art of Fermentation. Then the blood sugar issue is involved. As we said so many times, sugar is a toxin. Sugar will clot the blood. Sugar will break blood vessels too. Sugar will cause broken blood vessels in the kidneys. The kidneys filter the blood. If you have kidney issues, you got blood issues. If you've got kidney disease, you've got a blood problem. That means sugar, and that means digestive again. So it all comes down. Sugar, blood sugar problems, digestive problems. And then, of course, if you have problems with lack of oxygen, which can follow inflammation or poor breathing techniques or elevated stress hormone, your pressure is going to go up, your blood pressure is going to go up, and that, too, can cause problems with uh, cause kidney problems. So making sure that you're deep breathing. Uh, you know, I know it sounds like, oh, wow, deep breathing. That can't be something as simple as deep breathing. Yes, something as simple as slow, deep breathing. Try it out. If you're dealing with migraine headaches, if you're dealing with problems with dizziness, if you're dealing with mental health issues, if you're dealing with fatigue, if you're dealing with any symptoms, sitting on the couch, practicing slow, deep breathing. Activate the relaxation nervous system, the so-called parasympathetic nervous system. This is where healing takes place, is when we're activated at the parasympathetic, at the relaxation level. So hot tubs and hot showers and massages and uh, deep breathing and relaxation techniques. Even something as simple as tickling the top of your mouth with your tongue, right where your soft palate meets your hard palate. That can activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Light touch, self-massage, that can activate the healing system. You guys, this is so simple. Do not be bamboozled by the medical model, by the pharmacomedical model that could care less about you or your family, you as a human being, your, your humanity. That's what this is about, folks. Pharmaceuticals kill people. They're anti-human being. We have an anti-human being government. We've got an anti-human being judicial system. We've got an anti-human being medical model. But it's up to us, and we can do it. The great divine gift that we have been given, given is the gift of healing that the human body can access on its own without prescription drugs, without medication, without anything. But it requires participation. It requires our participation through better food choices, through digestive support, through staying away from uh, high sugar foods, processed foods, and by accessing your God-given relaxation nervous system, most especially by using deep breathing techniques. It's very, very simple. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, Ed in Idaho. What's going on? Welcome to The Bright Side. Do Okay. Do you have anything on the bottom of your foot? Anything on the bottom of your foot? Like any callus? Like anything? Your, sometimes your toes will curl up, and that'll affect the way you walk when you're protecting yourself from a, from a, a callus or something on the bottom of the foot. Anything like that? Yeah, I do have that on my uh, big toe, matter of fact. Yeah, you might be curling to protect it, and that might be affecting your gait. Now, it, uh -huh. I'm not, I don't know necessarily that that's it, but that can happen. So if you have something on the bottom of your foot, even if you don't think it's bothering you, sometimes your toes your, will curl up, or your feet will do weird things, so you don't have to put pressure on that area. And then if that, if that goes on for years, for year or years or decades, then that can definitely lead into that problem. So it may have something to do with that. Uh, anything else going on in your body? That's, uh, how old are you, Ed, by the way? Okay. Anything else going on? This is so important. You got to. This is not a primary symptom. Your foot, your toes, your uh, the joints there. That's not a primary problem. That's a secondary problem. Anything else going on in the body? Well, I believe I have digestive issues. I've had okay. what I consider a real bad heartburn in the past. Okay. Uh, okay. We. Okay. That, we need to get to the bottom of that. How about blood sugar? Anything with blood sugar? Weight gain? Have you gained uh, weight? No weight. No, in the last no 10 years, gain. no weight gain. Okay. 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 okay, don't worry about what you were told by the doctor, if that's what you're going to say, because they go by tests, and I don't buy into any tests. How about uh, blood pressure? How's the blood pressure? 
fine. My blood okay. pressure is fine. Okay, good deal. Then here's what you need to do. First of all, you got to get to the bottom of that heartburn problem. If you have malabsorption of nutrients, which it could definitely be if you have a digestive issue, malabsorption of minerals, malabsorption of B vitamins, you're not going to be able to rebuild tissue. Your tendons will, will begin to get weak, and that can definitely cause the problems that you're describing. So first thing, uh, you want to focus on that bruise or on that... Uh, uh, what did you say? It was a callus on your toe. Maybe bandage it up and see if that, if, if that changes over the course of time, if that changes how you walk, and if that changes your symptoms at all. I'm guessing, however, though, you have some malabsorption going on, and I probably probably have some blood sugar problems, too, even though uh, you say that you don't. It's more than likely there's something in there. So first things first, let's get to the bottom of your digestive condition. If you have heartburn, you probably have some other stuff going on. If you can fast, that would be great. Uh, and I'm just going to assume that you can fast for one or two days, then start to add in foods uh, uh, take uh, starting with your favorite foods and see how you respond. If you get heartburn after you eat cereal, for example, you'll know you got a problem with grains or with cereals. If you get heartburn after you eat fruits, you may want to isolate the specific fruits. Whatever it is, isolate the foods that are causing the problems. And also, probiotics, good bacteria, can help relieve some of that gas pressure that will push acid up through your stomach into your esophagus. So getting on the bioluminightly essence uh, and eating fermented foods can be helpful. Also, apple cider vinegar after your meals might be helpful. So do food diary number one. And if you can fast before you do it, that would be great. If not, just do the food diary. By the way, the Swero V, uh, which we haven't talked about in a little bit, is a great way to introduce fasting. If you can't absolutely, absolutely have to have something in your system, you can't not eat for a couple of days, use the Swero V. Get to the bottom of your food problems. That's very important. And you'll know you're, at, you're, no, you'll know you're getting to the bottom of it when your heartburn starts to improve. Make sure you're using the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, especially the glucogel caps. And you want to use the glucogel caps with vitamin C. And I'd also, if I were you, I'd be using the glucogel caps with a little apple cider vinegar. In fact, if you use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine with your glucogel caps, that'll get you your vitamin C and then maybe a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Make sure you're getting enough protein. I would be using whey protein for building. Uh, and then uh, you can uh, make sure you're doing some essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs with the protein, with your whey protein. The EFAs are also very important for building. And then last but not least, if you can start to do some joint exercises to help strengthen the muscle around the joint, around the tendons, and around the ligaments. The muscle tissue supports the connective tissue, and the connective tissue supports the muscle tissue. They kind of work hand in hand. So doing some weight-bearing exercises, some re resistance training on the lower part of your body, that might be helpful as well. I hope I helped you out, Ed. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my website, brightsideben.com, my blog, pharmacistben.com, and you can also now check out my new blog with George Nori, criticalhealthnews.com. And please join the Brightside Ben team. Love to have you on my team. Call the phone team at 866-735-2470 for a one-time $10 fee. We can do this together, you and I. We can help change the world with nutritional supplementation and a good nutritional supplement program. Thanks for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good, good health information. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.